So, do I really need a 3D mouse with solid edge? Some of you will probably say, yes, I can't live without it. In my case, I prefer to take my 200 bucks and invest with a good knight with some good friend and try to rewrite the world. Okay, let's start with the trick. So, what solid edge offers me for 3D rotation or view manipulation. If I use the shift key with the right mouse button, I have 3D rotation and that point at, at this point Solid Edge will determine the best point for rotation. If I use the control key I can zoom in and zoom out. So if I click near that location I will zoom that point. If I click near that rota that location here, this is the focus point of the zoom in, zoom out. Can go any point on the part. Make sure that you click quite of quite a fast, otherwise the quick pick will pop up, and the quick pick will then have the priority. So if you move on something, click. If you want to change the uh, quick pick setting there's a box here so if you drink like 12 coffee per day probably you want to bring this to 200 milliseconds if you prefer hot chocolate boost this to 1.2 second or keep it as the default at 700 milliseconds okay sorry out of focus so shift 3d rotate control zoom in, zoom out, and each time I use the right mouse button that I click and drag. Now if I use the shift and control key together, I got the pan command. So I can zoom in, shift control to pan, zoom in, shift control to pan, zoom out, and just the shift key allow me to rotate the part. So all this by simply shifting between the shift control and shift control key and always keep the right mouse button press and drag. Now if I want to fit my design inside the working area I simply press ALT and right mouse click once and this will fit the design in my working area. So ALT one click on the right and will fit the design inside the screen. You want to zoom on a specific area, keep the ALT press and this time instead of just clicking, click and drag to create a fence. Everything inside that fence will be zoomed on the screen. So ALT click, ALT click drag. So you can easily go from one location to another in your part or in your design. And remember that all the navigation key always goes on top of the actual command. When you finish or release the visualization button, you will go back where you were in your previous command. And the last one I want to introduce is the middle mouse click. So if you middle mouse click, Solid Edge will ask you to select a point, an edge or a face. So I select a point or a vertex and then I use the shift right mouse click or right mouse drag I should say. I will pivot around that point. So if I got a long part I can easily switch between the front rotation and back rotation or somewhere in the middle. Let's see here. Can fit my design. You can also select the uh, edge, sorry, select select a edge. So shift right mouse click and then you will rotate around that edge. And the last one you can pick any point on any surface. Let's say here. 
and that point will become your rotation point. Zoom in, zoom out, fit. So I, as you see it's quite easy with the middle mouse button to change the focus so even if you work in a tight space you can select a point pick another one pick an edge and so on pick a point anywhere and that will become your rotation point so hope this helped save you time oh forget in my case I don't like the middle mouse button clicking it's kind of not natural for me so what I've done is I remap the middle mouse click to a thumb button so I just press with my thumb and I find it easier to work that way so hope this trick help you save 200 bucks if we see us at the Solid Edge University just pay me a beer so we can rewrite the world and that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a good weekend.